Hello viewers and everyone watching this video. It's me, your teacher again, Friday. And uh, in our today's lesson, uh, our today's video, I will be taking you through conditional clause 2. In a previous video, there's a video I made which was about if one. And uh, in today's video, or today's tutorial, I will be taking you through conditional clause 2 or if 2. Okay? I took you into if one. In the other video and I introduced to you to conditional clauses. Now with this video I will be proceeding just where I stopped and the other video was about if clauses and it was about if one. This one is about if two. If two or conditional conditional close Okay, yes, that is the second clause or the second if clause. Uh, we looked at the first if clause in the very first video, which was meant for if one. Now, in this video, we shall be looking at the if clause two. Let's first write this one for future reference. That's unlike. Unlike if one, unlike if one, where we expect, where we expect the condition to be fulfilled, where we expect the condition to be fulfilled, to be fulfilled, come on. In if to, in if to, in if to, there is no hope. There is no hope for for the condition to be fulfilled. For the condition to be fulfilled. Yeah, and like in if one way we expect the condition to be fulfilled, in if two there is no hope. There is no hope for the condition to be fulfilled. In fact, uh, we are always just daydreaming. It's just like we, we are we are just we are just daydreaming, daydreaming. Hmm? You know what daydreaming is? It is thinking about something that cannot happen. Just imagining things. Okay? You're just assuming things that cannot be fulfilled. Hmm? For example, for example, for example, hmm? if I were God, if I were God, come on, I would leave man to live forever. Hmm? Yeah, I think this sentence, I want to bring you to this explanation. I want you to understand that explanation. That if I were God, I would leave man to live forever. Hmm? Now, are this particular sentence, I can't become God, okay? It is, it is impossible, it is impossible for me to become God. Therefore, I can't leave man to live forever. Hmm? It is impossible, it is impossible for me to become God. Hmm? I can't become God. Therefore, I can't leave man to live forever. This is what I was telling you about. That if to is, in fact for it, it talks about the impossibilities. Imagining something that will never happen. Hmm? You, you are just assuming of something. And you think it might come that way. Hmm? But it can't 
be that way. So we are just imagining things that can't really come true. Hmm? Example two, another example here. If I were you, if I were you, come on, I would eat a lot of portion. Yeah, this is another imagination sentence, or imagine, yeah, imagination sentence. I am just imagining to become you, but personally, myself cannot be you, okay? Oh, there will, no, there will not be any day when I will wake up when I'm you. No, you will remain you, and I will be me, okay? Until the day I die, okay? I will never be you. So, I can't become you. I can't be you. Okay? So this is, this clause, or if to, it tells us about the impossibilities. Okay? Yes, it tells us about some things that will never come to. The impossibilities. Okay? Now, uh, I believe we have seen some of these sentences. I will make, I will give one or two more example sentences, then I will show you how to change from if one to if two. Okay? Yes. Those sentences you're seeing there are uh, if one sentences. Then I want to show you how, uh, I'll write more two sentences which are in if two, then I will be showing you how to change sentences from if one to if two. Okay? Yeah. If I was a, if I were a snake, I would bite people. We have example number three. If I was a snake, if I was a snake, I would bite people. So you see that even this sentence here, even this sentence here is an, impos an impossible sentence. In fact, I can't become a snake. And moreover, I can't bite people. So if I were a snake, I would bite people. But I'm not a snake, therefore I can't bite people. And then another sentence here, sentence four, and the last one, as I take you to changing from if one to if two, if I were a teacher, I would not punish children. If I were a teacher, yes, we are assuming, for example, now I'm not a teacher. If I were a teacher, I would not punish children. Hmm? So let us assume you, the viewer, or a learner watching this video, you are there assuming that if you were a teacher, for example, you were me, a teacher, you would not punish children. Now, I will be taking you through changing, changing, changing if one sentences to if two. Now, how can we change if one sentences to if two? I'll give you some example here. Example. How we can change if one to if two. Hmm? For example, we have one sentence here, which is if one. If she writes to me, if she writes, to me, come on, I will be happy. If she writes to me, I will be happy. Now, how do we make this one? We make this impossible. Huh? We assume that this cannot happen and it can never happen. So we shall say, if she wrote to me, if she wrote, to me, come on, I 
would be happy. Are you seeing? So write the present simple tense changes to past and will the, the, the present tense changes to would. So that means this person never wrote to me and I, I did not become happy. Therefore, I am just imagining or assuming that if she wrote to me, I would be happy. Okay? Uh, let me put another example. Another example, then I was asking you to also be of the same category so that he, uh, we can change our sentences from the from if one then to if two. If my problem is solved, I will grow fast. If my problem is solved, come on, I will grow fast. Okay? That is another if one sentence. If my problem is solved, I will grow fat. That means I have hope that my problem might be solved. That is if one. We are expecting, we have hope that the, the condition might be fulfilled. But in if two, we don't have any hope. Okay? So here, when we are responding to this, or changing it to if two, we shall say, if my problem, my problem, was solved, comma, I would grow, I would have, I would have grown fat. Hmm? That means my problem was not really solved. It was not solved and therefore I did not grow fat. And I don't expect that one day it will be solved. It was supposed to be solved at, at that particular time, but it was not solved. Now, that means this sentence is in if two. Now, I'll be ending this lesson. I will be ending this lesson with an activity. I'll be ending this lesson with an activity. Uh, and I will request you to change sentences, if one sentences, to if Two. Yeah. I will be ending this lesson by asking you to change if one sentences to if two. Activity. Activity. Okay. Change the following if one sentences to if to yeah in question one question one says if it rains today my mother will sow her beans if it rains if it rains comma my mother will so her beans. Okay? That is, if it rains, my mother will sow her beans. So she has hope that it might rain that particular day. Okay? David will rain me if he gets a mobile phone. David will rain me if he gets a mobile phone. That means he has not yet got the phone, but he has hope that he will get it, and then therefore he's going to ring me. Okay? Then another sentence uh, goes like, if she doesn't come, we shall go there. If she doesn't come, we shall go there. So, 
with those three numbers, let me give you space to see them very well. Yes, those are the three numbers. You will answer them during your free time and respond to me. Thank you for watching. I've been your teacher, Friday.